Iger did make a comment a few moments ago about the progress they says they've been making regarding regulators on that front. Take a listen. Fox is in the driver's seat regarding the 61% uh, uh, that they do not control. We've been working uh, with regulatory authorities, not just in the United States, but in jurisdictions across the world now for six months. And we've made a lot of progress uh, toward obtaining the regulatory approvals that are necessary. And in, that includes uh, supplying regulatory authorities with a tremendous amount of information, uh, basically uh, heeding their requests for all sorts of documentation uh, regarding uh, this acquisition and the potential impact that it has on markets across the world. This itself represents in itself a meaningful head start. Meaningful head start, Jim. How much does that timeline matter? Jeez, I don't know. I, I, I just I keep coming back to what David said. I'm so happy that he said it. Just that this could be over sooner than people realize. You know, eh, these are not a lot of moving parts. There's an asset. Uh, you, you raise your price until you can't say it's a creator, uh, including this most recent pa passel, and uh, and then you're done. And I think that neither one of these companies is in a suicide pact. There's a sense. David, you, I don't know if you feel this way, but when I listen to the media commentary and I listen to the analyst commentary, it's a suicide pact. I mean, everybody loses. It's a big game of chicken and both cars go over. David, I, th these are two very rational companies. Neither company wants its legacy to be that we took down too much debt and failed. I mean, could you just clarify the doomsday say, uh, you know, suicide pact stuff I keep hearing versus what the reality is with these people who are involved in this? Jim, say that again because sometimes it breaks up a bit. On you're asking about well, the tax I, I'm ramifications. Just, I, well, I'm just saying that I just keep hearing commentary. It's a suicide pact. Both these companies are willing to take on too much debt. This is a really dangerous thing. They're willing to go to the moon. It's going to go on forever. Uh, Bob Iger, right? Uh, uh, Brian Roberts, uh, Steve Burke, not suicide artists. Calculated business people trying to do what is going to move their stock up over the next two years. And if you're going to take down too much debt and crush your stock just because you want the asset, that's not the way of either of these two people. No, you're right. I mean, but we pointed out many times, and listen, the sense I have gotten fully is that Brian Robertson has been fully engaged on this for months, focused on it, focused on, well, why didn't we initially actually come out on top here before they signed that deal with Disney, and very much focused on what the Time Warner decision would be and their response. And the reason is because he feels and worries about the long-term uh, set of assets and their ability to compete over the long term. As we know, the Roberts family controls 33.5% of the vote at Comcast. That does give them a sort of a luxury to a certain extent of making these kinds of potentially long-term decisions that short-term shareholders or shareholders who are more concerned about the things you're talking about, Jim, would say, please don't do that to. Um, and I remember distinctly hearing many times that he regretted listening to his shareholders when they came with that initial hostile bid for Disney at way too low a number many years ago. What was it, 04 or something right. like that? They, you know, uh, but not having pursued that when the stock got beat up. So, sure, they are both rational. But they're rational to the point that they're both thinking about the long-term benefits to their businesses and what they need to position themselves in this new world that we know is here now in terms of both direct-to-consumer and having more of an international footprint, right? I mean, the revenue number for Comcast goes from 8% international to, what, 27%, if I recall, if they get this deal done. That is a huge move, and that's vitally important, apparently, to the future of the company, according but to Mr. But not at six Mr. times, not at seven times. There's a level. There's a level where no one wants to take down enough debt that we make it so that, it's, that it is suicide. All right, so what's the number, Jim? You tell me. What's the number Certainly higher that than here. gets them the deal that doesn't, that doesn't make every shareholder run in panic? Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.